This is Jake Devonport with Van Dyke Software, logging on with the next sessions video in this series, the default session. In the previous video segment, you learned about both ad hoc and saved session connections. In this video, you'll learn where default settings come from. When an ad hoc session is initialized, either from the command line or the connect bar or from the quick connect dialog, any settings not explicitly specified will come from the default session. The same is true for new sessions. Any options not explicitly specified in the wizard have their values copied from the default session. All saved sessions are stored in the SecureCRT configuration folder within the subfolder named Sessions. Each session you save will be stored in an INI file that matches the name of the session you see in the Connect dialog. By design, the default session itself does not appear within the Connect dialog, even though a corresponding default.ini file exists within the Sessions folder. As the starting point for all ad hoc connections and new sessions, the default session can be customized to meet your most frequent needs and preferences. For example, SSH2 is the default protocol. However, a network administrator primarily responsible for configuring new switches or routers through a serial console connection may want to set the default protocol to serial, since that is what would be used most of the time. The same is true for other preferences like the desired color scheme, font, terminal emulation, size, and so on. As I mentioned earlier, the default session does not appear within the Connect dialog. To change default settings, open Global Options, browse to the general Default Session category, and press the Edit Default Settings button. Make changes to the settings you want to be standard for all ad hoc connections and new sessions, then press the OK button. When editing the default session, be careful. You'll be asked if you'd like to apply these changes to all of your sessions or just to the default session. The default button in this warning indicates that you only want to change the default session, leaving all existing sessions unchanged. Make sure you only choose to apply your changes to all sessions if you really want to replace those settings you've modified in all of your existing sessions. There's no undo for this action, so make sure you're paying close attention. In a different video segment, I'll show a more targeted approach to making changes to multiple sessions at once. If at any point you need to reset the default session to SecureCRT's fresh install state, you can follow this sequence of actions. First, browse to the Configuration Folder's Sessions subfolder and locate the default.ini file. Next, close all instances of SecureCRT that are currently running. Then, delete the default.ini file. If you're cautious and want to provide for getting this default configuration back for any reason, you can simply rename the file instead of removing it. And finally, as you start SecureCRT, it will attempt to load the default session. When it doesn't find a default.ini file, SecureCRT will create a new one with initial values for session settings. The next video in this series explains how to modify session options for existing sessions and how to use the organization and management tools provided by SecureCRT's Connect dialog.